morning students in previous class we discussed about the trigonometric ratios and we know that there are six trigonometric ratios so today we will discuss if one trigonometric ratio is given how to find the remaining five trigonometric ratios if sin theta equals to 3 by 5 theta lies in second quadrant find the remaining t ratios now given sin theta equals to 3 by 5 and we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 it implies cos square theta equals to 1 minus sin square theta so 1 minus 3 by 5 whole square it is 1 minus 9 by 25 equals to 16 by 25 it implies cos theta equals to plus minus root 16 by 25 equals to plus minus 4 by 5. Now it is, it is given that theta lies in second quadrant and as we know that in second quadrant only sine and cosec are positive remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. Therefore cos theta will be minus 4 by 5. 5. Now sec theta. Sec theta is 1 by cos theta so its value will be minus 5 by 4. Tan theta. Tan theta is equal to sin theta divided by cos theta. Value of sin theta is 3 by 5. Value of cos theta is minus 4 by 5. So it is minus 3 by 4. Now because theta lies in the second quadrant that's why the value of tan theta is also negative. Now cot theta. Cot theta is 1 by tan theta so it is minus 4 by 3. Next suppose we have if tan theta equals to 5 by minus 5 by 12 theta lies in fourth quadrant find the other five trigonometric ratios or functions now given tan theta equals to minus 5 by 12. We also know the identity of tan theta. You studied in class 10th also. We know that secant square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1. It implies secant square theta equals to 1 plus tan square theta. So it is 1 plus minus 5 by 12 whole square. 1 plus 25 by 144 so it is 169 by 144 it implies value of sec theta is plus minus root 169 by 144 plus minus 13 by 12 now theta lies in the fourth quadrant and in fourth quadrant both cos and sec are positive Therefore, secant theta will be 13 by 12 and cos theta being the reciprocal of sec theta will be 12 by 13. Now we have to find the value of sin theta and cos sec theta. So tan theta is given minus 5 by 12. It means sin theta upon cos theta equals to minus 5 by 12. So sin theta equals to minus 5 by 12 into cos theta. 
सो माइनस फाइव बाय ट्वेल्व वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस थेटा इट इज ट्वेल्व बाय थर्टीन सो कॉर साइन थेटा विल बी माइनस फाइव बाय थर्टीन नाउ कॉस सेक् थेटा इज वन बाय साइन थेटा सो माइनस थर्टीन बाय फाइव सेम रीजन बिकॉज थेटा इज लाइंग इन द फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट सो साइन एंड कॉस सेक आर ऑल्सो नेगेटिव नेक्स्ट आई एम टेकिंग एफ कॉस थेटा इक्वल्स टू सपोज आई एम टेकिंग थ्री बाय फाइव थेटा लाइज इन फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट नो अगेन वी हैव टू फाइंड द अदर टी रेशन सो गिवन cos theta equals to थ्री by फाइव now we know that साइन स्क्वायर theta plus cos स्क्वायर theta equals to वन therefore साइन स्क्वायर theta equals to वन minus cos स्क्वायर theta वन minus नाइन by ट्वेंटी फाइव इट एज सिक्सटीन बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव सो साइन थेटा इक्वल्स टू प्लस माइनस रूट सिक्सटीन बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव एट एस प्लस माइनस फोर बाय फाइव नॉ थेटा लाइज इन फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट एंड इन फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट ऑल टी रेशोज आर पॉजिटिव देयर फोर साइन थेटा विल बी पॉजिटिव मीन्स फोर बाय फाइव cos sec theta 5 by 4 sec theta is 1 by cos theta so it is 5 by 3 now tan theta sin theta divided by cos theta so 4 by 5 divided by 3 by 5 so it is 4 by 3 and cot theta is 3 by 4 Next, now suppose we have given f cot theta equals to minus one by two. Theta lies in second quadrant. So we have to find the remaining five trigonometric ratios. Given cot theta equals to minus one by two. Now we know that. cos sec square theta minus cot square theta equals to minus one by two. It implies cos sec square theta equals to sorry equals to one. It implies uh, cos sec square theta equals to one plus cot square theta. It implies cos sec square theta equals to one plus minus one by two whole square one plus one by four it is five by four it implies cos sec theta equals to plus minus root five by four it is plus minus root five by two now theta lies in second quadrant And in second quadrant, cos sec and sin are positive. Therefore, its value will be root five by two. And value of sin theta will be two by root five. Value of tan theta. Tan theta is one by cot theta. And cot theta is given minus one by two. So value of tan theta is minus two. Because in second quadrant, tan is negative. Now. We have to find the value of sine theta and sec theta. So, tan theta equals to minus two. It implies sine theta upon cos theta equals to minus two, or sine theta upon minus two equals to cos theta. So now, the value of sine theta is क्या आई थी हमारे पास वैल्यू साइन थेटा की टू बाय रूट फाइव सो इट इज टू बाय रूट फाइव इन टू माइनस टू इक्वल्स टू कॉस थेटा टू एंड टू कैंसिल इट एम्प्लाइज 
minus 1 by root 5 equals to cos theta and sec theta equals to 1 by cos theta so it is minus root 5. In second quadrant sec is also negative as cos is negative.